so what we've done on the beach uh, this afternoon is we're running salt water up from the low tide mark into some staging tanks and then we run it through the microfiltration unit and then we run it through a reverse osmosis which desalinates the water and then the product that uh, we'll put out at the other end is, is potable water that people can take away and drink. Uh, obviously we're at New Brighton Beach, um, we would normally try to get uh, closer so somewhere like a, a wharf or a dock where we could essentially be within a couple of metres of the, the water source. So what we're having to do here is stage um, the containment of the water and then, and then once we've uh, got a quantity of water that we've staged, we can then run it through the, the filtering system. So what we're trying to do here is something that uh, we haven't actually done before, but um, we're adapting the system we have in order to make it work. Yeah, uh, so the guys have shown a lot of initiative in, um, in making this work, but obviously we've got uh, a lot of thirsty people around here that don't have access to clean water. So our priority is, is using what we do have in order to produce a product. Um, we're looking at being here a minimum of 24 to 48 hours. So in that time we're looking at producing 100,000 litres, roughly, of uh, water for people to take away and drink. And if required, we'll stay here a lot longer than that in order to uh, ease the burden on the community of not having any mains water.